Have you ever pondered over who invented printing? Today, we delve into a fascinating journey that takes us back to the 16th century, to the life of a man who revolutionized the world of printing in Belarus. His name, Francisk Skarina. Born in the city of Polotsk, present-day Belarus, in the late 15th century, Skarina was destined for a life of great significance. It is believed that he received his primary education in Polotsk and possibly in Vilnius. In 1504, Skarina is recorded as a student at Jagiellonian University. In 1506, he graduated with a Bachelor of Arts degree. After Krakow, Skarina ventured to the renowned University of Padua in Italy, where he achieved his Doctorate of Medicine. Then Skarina arrived in Prague by 1517. In the same year, he rented a printing house from a merchant named Severin in Prague, and started publishing a new translation of the Bible with his own prefaces. In the year 1519, Skarina embarked on a monumental project that would forever change the landscape of printing in Belarus. He took on the daunting task of translating and printing the Bible in the old Belarusian language. But why was this so significant? Until then, the Bible had always been printed in Latin, a language accessible only to the educated elite. Skarina's translation democratized the sacred text, making it accessible to the common people in their native tongue. Skarina established his printing press in Prague, where he printed the first book in 1519, the Psalter. The books printed by Skarina were unique in their design and aesthetic appeal. They were adorned with woodcut prints, ornate initial letters, and his personal prefaces, making each book a work of art in its own right. Output In 1522, Skarina opened the first printing house in Vilnius. He published The Little Travel Book, followed by Apostol in 1525. Apostol was released in the same order as it is used in Orthodox worship now. Here he continued his prolific printing and translation work, further contributing to the propagation of Belarusian culture and language. To summarize, Francisk Skarina's contributions to printing were profound and far-reaching. He was the first to print books in the old Belarusian language, starting with the Bible, thereby making written material more accessible to the common people. His printing presses in Prague and Vilnius churned out beautifully designed and aesthetically pleasing books, which were not just informative but also works of art. Skarina's work was a testament to his love for his mother tongue and his desire to democratize knowledge. His efforts laid the groundwork for the future of printing in Belarus and beyond, making him a true pioneer in the field. Indeed, Skarina's legacy continues to resonate today as we appreciate the power of language and the written word in connecting and educating people.